Okay, so we're going to go over how to set up a file on the Caldera RIP, which drives our MUTO wide format printer. It's a MUTO 1604. So the Caldera RIP is what uh, we will be using, and we're assuming that we already have our file imported into the correct uh, wide format queue. We can kind of take a look around in there and preview this if we need to, but pretty much we're going to assume that you've dropped the file in the right place. Uh, we're going to be using what we call the file manager or file man and we just click on that icon and we navigate to the wide format RIP queue. We look for our file and since we're working on this sticker project uh, that's the file that we set up where we did a step and repeat or we set it up uh, in multiple copies in Adobe Illustrator using kind of the duplicate command or command D. Uh, once we have that selected, uh, we you can kind of preview, take a look to make sure it's the right file. Then we're going to hit open. And you can see it working in the lower left hand corner here and it, and it imports it into this window on the left. At this point we're done with the file manager so we can quit that. And we can just drag the what they call the poster icon onto the value jet icon. And that brings up our next uh, panel. And pretty much at this point, we just need to kind of determine the roll width. So we would take the tape measure and actually measure the width of the material. We also want to make sure that the resolution is set correctly to the graphics 3 dash variable. Uh, that's the best uh, setting for our, our device and our material. So we kind of leave it at that. Um, and then again, just uh, take the material, um, the tape measure, measure the material. I think this is 60 inch wide material that we're printing on. And then we come down here to the four headed arrow, which is the page setup um, window. And just we want to determine or make sure that the scale is correct because uh, this software remembers what it did on the previous job. So if somebody scaled their project down slightly you want to make sure that you set this back at 100% for both the width and the height. Uh, in this software, once you type it in, you have to actually hit enter for it to take place. Uh, and then at this point, you're ready to hit print. And off it runs. Uh, you can come up and check the spooler, which is kind of uh, giving you an indication of what job is actually processing. And you can see it's uh, starting to send the job to the printer. Um, and you're pretty much done at this point.